the island of Samoa, six hours by plane from Hawaii, eight hours by boat from New Zealand and Australia, a tiny pinprick on the map. Life is good here, but nothing much happens. Today the men have been out fishing. Their large fishing boat was destroyed in a cyclone in 2001, so they use a wooden canoe now and stay close to the shore on the coral reef. Meanwhile, the women use their time to go to church. Apia, the capital, is the size of a village. The only street is named Main Street, ironically so, as it's the only street. So when the ferry's silhouette appears on the horizon and the red and yellow containers are distinguishable on the deck, the island's inhabitants rejoice. It's arrived, a real circus with authentic acts, jugglers, acrobats and clowns, a team of 20 artists from all over the world. There's Miko from Venezuela, Fili Fili, C.O.C., Benina, Talavi from Samoa, Gilberto and Tamara from Brazil, not forgetting Jackson from the Samoan Islands and Johnson and Sosi from Kiribati, and not forgetting Davy from Fiji and Mikey from Nepal, the chefs. An incredible multicultural tapestry. This is Bruno's company. Bruno Loel, born in the USA to French and Italian parents. This is his circus, founded in the 1960s and 1980s. It has travelled across the United States and the Caribbean. Then one day, while passing through Hawaii, he had the inspiration to bring his circus to the South Pacific Islands. It was an ambitious endeavour, but amazingly he managed to accomplish it. No sooner has the boat docked, the big top is erected and the crowds begin to gather, faithful as ever to the show that has taken place every two years for the last quarter of a century. And uh, a big moa, so, yeah, uh, a tiger, all sorts of tricks. The animals were included, but not now anymore. But we're expecting some other new stuff to have a look at. Yeah. <laughs> Islanders queue up to see the trapeze artist jugglers and, of course, on centre stage, Mr Loyal himself taking the limelight as usual. It's an impressive show. One minute until showtime tonight. OK, boys, here we go. One minute. Showtime. Here we go. Another show, another day, another show. First on stage, two young Samoan girls, Vanina and Talave, who Bruno has trained personally to fly on the trapeze and to juggle. This is followed by a fellow countryman, Tine, and his incredible bicycle, amazing the children in the audience. For the next two hours, the show continues with one act after another. When the artists aren't on stage, they're behind the scenes, selling tickets, helping out each other to put on their makeup or steadying the ropes on the trapeze. Tuito, the clown, is one of the only dwarfs on the Samoan Islands and he has become a huge star due to Bruno and his magic circus. Because I Star Wars uh, 1996, like when I go to, uh, to the street and people call me, hey, hi, Joe, too, how are you? Can I have you all okay? And no, so I uh, no, I appreciate the people, no.
The following day, according to Bruno, we need to present ourselves to the authorities. Bruno introduces us to one of his best friends, the Prime Minister. That's, uh, <laughs> this is uh, the whitest uh, someone with uh, someone the two. <laughs> and when you have this the two, which uh, covers uh, almost all of your body, you are a warrior. Yes. Tupai is a Samoan chief and is also uh, giving our people a new kind of skill in uh, the entertainment industry. So we are very, very happy. Bruno Loyal's story is really incredible. He's the only foreigner to have been granted Samoan nationality and the distinguished title of Tupe, which translates as Big Chief. To honour this title, Bruno endured the extremely painful process of being tattooed with the Pei, the traditional tattoo. All Samoans know that I'm, uh, my name is Tupai Bruno, huh? and they call me Tupai, which is a thing of respect. It's, uh, uh, it, <laughs> I never thought I would have something like this. It's a, grand, it's a great privilege for me. The tattoo is symbolic because it's something of, I mean, it's one of those things that it pertains only to Samoa. This tattoo is a Samoan tattoo. It's called the Pea. And there are words in Samoan language for an unfinished tattoo, a man that does not finish his tattoo, it's quite a disgrace. I made it through this, and that was one of the hardest things I've ever done. I've never had pain that bad. I mean, that was really bad. An astonishing group of people where the leader speaks English, Spanish, Italian, Samoan, and even a few words of French. La, la partie de spectacle, c'est la partie plus facile. Facile, mais c'est pas beaucoup difficile. Difficile, la vie du cirque, c'est tous les jeux, la complication de la, du bateau, de, de, to move the circus. Huh? That's the, uh, the difficult. from a circus uh, background. My father's French, my mother's Italian. It was a unique family, yeah. A very, very small family, huh? Very small family. And uh, you know, it's just one of those things that everybody's gone. Huh? I don't have anyone else. But my parents started me basically on, uh, on single trapeze. The first thing I did, but as, as, you, uh, as you are raised in a, in a small family circus also, you learn many other things. I did have animals. I had animals when I first came to the Pacific. I think I had 37 head of animals on my boat, including uh, elephants, lions, tigers, bears, uh, monkeys, you, you name it. Just a little bit of everything, huh? Not quite like the ark, but yeah, almost there. <laughs> my first vessel, uh, it was an offshore supply boat. We had um, plenty of uh, apples for the bears and hay for the elephant. And uh, I don't, uh, no, no, the animals, uh, to my uh, knowledge, none of the animals were, were seasick at all. They did very, very well and uh, got off the boat, performed the shows great, back on again. And we did that island after island after island, all the way through the, the entire Pacific. Unfortunately, Bruno was forced to give up the animals. Some of his artists have been exceptionally loyal to him. When Tamara arrived from Rio in 1998, she met her husband here and has stayed with the circus ever since. Os anos de escola eu terminei assim, eu fiz tudo no, no circo, eu já estudei no Uruguai, na Argentina, no Paraguai, no Brasil, e ela também. Aonde a gente tiver, se a gente tiver aqui nessa ilha ou em outra ilha, ela vai para a escola. Se tiver em Samoa, ela vai. Se tiver em Fiji, coloca ela para a escola. A escola é primordial na vida da gente. We were in the, uh, <laughs> the circus office. It's my little office and my hideaway here. 
I take it with me. It's a container. It's insulated. It has walls on the inside. Uh, uh, when you look at the Pacific, uh, when I think about how much space our surface covers, it's actually mind-boggling at times because if you look at the area that we're covering, it's probably about four to five times, it's four times the size of the United States or ten times or twelve times the size of France or, uh, or even South America because we cover millions and millions of square miles of, of ocean with the magic circus of Samu. So once the uh, circus is uh, ready to go, uh, everything in here packs up goes in the other section there, and this whole container is okay for loading, huh? Okay. We're going to be taking a uh, one-hour trip across the ocean to the big island of Savai. It's been 17 years since I've been there, so it's been a long time. And from now on, they're all very uh, long hauls across the ocean. The next one will be from here to American Samoa. That's approximately uh, eight to nine hours on the sea, and then from there we go to Tonga, that's a, a day, day and a half, and then on to Fiji, another day and a half, and to Vanuatu, two days, so et cetera, et cetera. Most of the voyages are between two to three days across the ocean to get from one place to the other. Today the team are traveling on a regular ferry line, but it hasn't always been like that. In the early days, the circus owned its own boat, the Endeavour. It was an old wooden boat. Unfortunately, only a few photos of it remain now in the family album. we had it painted all up just just like a circus red and yellow striped in the magic circus of some oil with flags flying sadly it was destroyed in a tropical storm when leaving the island of futuna in the year 2000 so water uh, came up in the engine room and when that happened the engine shut down and that's bad what do you do you pray you just hope for the best. I mean, you think about your people, you think about you know, some of the children we had on board. It was a miracle, I believe. I heard a, I heard a noise. The noise became louder. I looked up and thank God, here comes the New Zealand Air Force. They picked up our emergency Mayday Eber signal and they found us. Of course, Bruno didn't repeat this particular story to Mikey, the chef. This recruit arrived directly from the Nepalese mountains just a month ago, and today is his first experience of a boat trip. Es diferente a cuando uno trabaja, como decir, en Argentina, en Colombia. La gente le agrada el circo, le encanta el circo, pero es diferente porque nosotros estamos yendo, solamente hay un circo y todo el mundo nos espera, sabe que venimos nosotros. Get, grab your boys for electricity. Sosi, big top. Uh, okay, we're doing good. We're doing really good. We've only been here for a few hours. We've got the poles up, stakes down, cookhouse. That's the most important thing on the show is the cookhouse. <laughs> Once the cookhouse up, home sweet home. Any piece of land anywhere in the Pacific. That's the main thing. Hold on, hold on. Today. Baseline. During the last 25 years, Bruno has trained all his artists from the South Pacific Islands himself. The others are professionals he regularly invites from Colombia and Venezuela. His last addition is Rita, who is only 21 years old and has recently arrived from Nepal. Uh, remember everybody, 
we have a show tomorrow at 12 o'clock. We're going to try again. Tomorrow's a holiday, huh? Mañana feriado. Once the circus is installed, the radio publicises its arrival. Adverts are also transmitted on the unique television channel, but the most effective method is the van with the megaphone, which parades through the villages making announcements. People here, there's no place to go like cinema and shop here, and they like to come because they didn't have this opportunity before to see the circus, you know, first time, and they heard, and plenty of people were like, okay, let's go watch the Magic Circus of Samoa, it's a very good show. When the posters are up and the public have been notified, there are still some essential things to take care of before the first show can take place. We're on the island of Savai, where Tupai Bruno is one of the chiefs. It's quite a few years since the last show took place, and before the first performance, the island's customs must be honoured and respected. This book is for the one they stay in the village and serve the chief and also the chief. We use for the chief language. Tupa is a chief in the village. He's going to go visit, visit his family there where he got the title. That's why I, I have to be there for... Because normally Tupa don't uh, speak that uh, language. Before the evening show, a delegation from the circus must travel to Bruno's village, Yesu, to meet the most important yeah, island chief. The protocol has been considerably reduced over the years, but offering presents such as rice, taro and a pig are still expected. <laughs> so and I is the, the, the highest chief and, and this is the family he took care of me uh, when I was having my Samoan tattoo and uh, and of course from his family he presented me with the title of Tupai. <laughs> Thanks very much to Pai. Tupai Bruno, the white Samoan, a circus boy who has become a giant and chosen the largest ocean as his playground. I think you could, you could call the uh, Pacific the land of the uh, unexpected, huh? You know, uh, Papua New Guinea. First time, of course, ever in history for a circus to tread its way up the Highland Highway. A large group of chimbus come, and they wear what they call grass and penis cords, basically. I mean, and that's all they wear. Uh, now, when they sat down on the bleachers, the first thing that was quite amusing is that because they were sitting the seat board and the footboard, they kind of had to hold the penis cord a little bit so it didn't hit the person in front of them. You know, and they bought the, the beautiful big pink cotton candy floss, you know, and but they decided to use it not only for tasting and eating it, but to decorate their hair, you know. So you see these men with <laughs> well, some with one, some with two. It looked like a you know, like Mickey Mouse or something with two cotton candies in their hair. And it just turned into total hysteria. I couldn't announce. I couldn't do anything. And I think the more we laughed at them, the more they laughed at us. And we all just had a great time. So we spent about 20 minutes laughing at each other. But that was probably one of the uh, 
one of the most unforgettable audiences we've ever had at the Magic Circus, or at, I mean, at my circus in the Pacific Islands. Huh? At last, the big top is up, and it's time for some of the artists to rest while others try their hand at a bit of fishing. Savai's inhabitants are so thrilled the circus has arrived that many have already given presents of delicious food. Four or five families now and still more coming. Uh, they bring, uh, we have, I think we have three pigs right now, shrimp cocktail, langos, and fresh uh, parrotfish. Huh? So today is all seafood day at the Magic Circus. Huh? Performance presents a large variety of acts, including trapeze, clowns and jugglers. But for the last 25 years, the act the Samoan public prefer is Tupai Bruno with his incredible magic tricks. The circus features another famous star on, on tonight's programme, Michel Mico Cardenas, the Venezuelan dancer and juggler. He's one of the best jugglers in the world. When he's not performing on the prestigious stages of Europe or South America, Mico jumps at the chance to come here and perform. The big top may be small, but the audience is one of the most appreciative in the world. Circus's technician, Tusitala, has been working for Bruno for the last five years. He's travelled extensively due to his job and is leaving again in a few days for another long journey. He's making the most of his last day to do some diving with his friends on his native island of Savai. I'm so happy to, to come back home, to come in my small island of Savai. And uh, now we have a uh, time off. It's nice to come and fish. If I, if I don't uh, join the circus, I'll be fishing every day. <laughs> I really like fishing. And my mother thinks that the circus is a, it's not good. It's a, they say it's an evil thing, evil things. It's all kind of magic and they say you can drink uh, bats blood or do other, like, so you can become a magic. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will do that when I go in the circuit. I came to these to this ocean as a young man and I think this is the ocean that I've selected to uh, to hang my hat up in huh I'll die in this ocean there it's, I guess the most beautiful place in the world huh my true enjoyment is watching uh, people laugh at the show. I love that. I love that. Bringing a circus to the Pacific Islands, for some reason, I was capable of doing that, huh? And uh, I don't regret one, one single moment of it. Huh? I've had a blast all these years, every day. I am who I am. I'm nothing but a, just a, an adventurer, huh? In the big Pacific Ocean. Magic 
circus of Zavoli. 